All right, I want to check out any who, all right? It doesn't matter if you're trying to gather information about people or employees of a company or a company in itself. You're ultimately going to be seek, given the task of doing your reconnaissance on, on people and organizations. It's just that simple. There's no, there's no polite way to do it. Um, in, in the White Hat case, the White Hat had, has permission to basically perform a complete investigation. Um, the gray hat, on the other hand, sometimes uses questionable tactics. The black hat is typically in a different mindset altogether, okay? Um, and they're trying to uh, remain as anonymous as possible. So one of the tools that we use when we want to just do some basic uh, searching here is, is basically you just go to Google. So we're going to go to Google.com. And we're, we're just going to start poking and prodding around like an ethical hacker would poke and prod around. So we're going to go to um, find information about people. Okay. Now, I'm not showing you this to, you could have obviously done it yourself, right? So find information about people. But I want you to make sense out of this information. You have ads that are here, which are basically people want to be known in this category. This is the first section uh, in terms of a heat map that people's eyes focus on, right? So these are all going to be paid advertisements. Um, same thing with ads at the top. Sometimes after the ads, you'll get decent information, but they're nonetheless ads altogether. Then you can go down into the actual benefit, or I would call the new Google page, which would basically be this section here. Um, and you're going to see a variety of things, okay? Um, everything about life hackers and wikis and books and, and everything else. But ultimately, that's not going to help you. That's not going to uh, get you to the the details, the information that you're going to need to find about people. These are just realistically resources, but not the ones that we're looking for. So in this case, I'm pointing this out specifically because you're not going to find anything here. There's nothing about that. You'd have to go to specific websites like anywho.com, okay, just to find an example. Okay, and you just basically look to see what you can uh, find. Now, clearly you guys might know my name. So it's Leo Dreger. Okay, city is Baltimore. Uh, state is Maryland. Expect everybody to be doing this. So let's go ahead and see what's actually there on yourself. All right, so this is, you guys get to see me do this to myself. I'm 94 years old. Yep, down here in sunny Florida, drinking my martinis. 94 years old. No, I'm not, that's not going to be me, but that would be my grandfather. So interestingly enough, if he was alive today, he would be 94. Right? But you can see the previous addresses and the locations and things like that. And once you get to click on any of the first few clicks here, you're going to get some basic stuff. But immediately here comes the sales and the advertisements. So this goes into the, well, what do you get? All right? These are basically research companies, and they provide research and statistics on a variety of any of things. So look at full name, age, the recent addresses of people, the history, the phone numbers, the aliases, uh, the maiden name, the relatives, what properties they've lived at, the series of properties that they've lived at, even the value of their home, that's public information, uh, whatever email addresses the internet could Google and find, uh, plus, again, statistics, they find this stuff, all your email addresses, social networking, any sort of criminal records, uh, lawsuits, if you have misdemeanors or not, any felonies, all of this can be uh, found out. Also here in this section, Leo Dreger, this gives me some basic, in addition to information, you can see that I'm married and my wife's Angela Dreger. Okay, uh, any of these type of things up here, these are going to be advertisements, you're going to want to stay away from those. Um, and you can further, sometimes, depending on the job site that you're evaluating, you can get additional options like sort by state or sort by education or sort by. These generally take you to other paid services. Um, but look, you, you know, you do have a small write-up right here, so let's see if there's anything there. Leo Dreger, Abingdon, Maryland. Uh, I don't live in Abingdon, Maryland. 
we found records that Leo and Abin Gamera found a current previous address. Uh, so it's trying to link me to this address and somebody's going to basically, you're going to pay them to run a report on this target. In this case, it would be Leo Dreger, uh, even with uh, bogus data. And you'd see what would come back. And that's where you get all the juicy uh, things. These reports vary in price from uh, in the cheap side, you know, 20, 30 bucks, you can get a lot of information from, or you can go to more what I would call the higher end, more exhaustive. This is typically now you have people involved that people actually are on the ground looking for the things that you're looking, we want to look for. Um, you know, there's a human involved. It's a little bit beyond the uh, computer, you know, but those are the, 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 the higher end of the, the, the price range. Okay. But let's go ahead and look at your name. So let's do Google. Okay. Leo Drager. Okay. You can see an official website. You can see my LinkedIn profile, YouTube videos. You can see information about recent uh, books, something that I had to do with. Uh, I think this is an actual customer rating. Uh, Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts, images. Okay. You can, it starts connecting the dots, right? So this is also what I would highly recommend doing. But n notice the difference between this is this is highly targeted and specific information that you're looking for here, okay? If I wanted to further this information, I could basically start adding in my Google hacking commands. Like say if I wanted all f um, file types, uh, um, like PDF, let's see if there's uh, any documents that Leo... Uh, has in a PDF format, all right? Um, you find all sorts of information in, in this. In some cases, we've gone to different companies. We've evaluated. We, we could pull contracts and documents. And, um, you know, some of it was public record oriented and some of it was the company ought to know, right? So you'd be surprised what you realistically could find once you start combining the specifics with even more specifics. In this case, I'm looking for, you know, file types, URLs. I'm starting to, I'm going to, leading up to actually using the advanced uh, Google hacking commands to really dial these searches in, okay? Um, another one that you should know here is Spokio, okay? Now, the reason why we do this is because, uh, notice the, how I search this. Uh, the name of your target and then Spokio, which is the actual service uh, that I'm trying to find information about, okay? So in this case, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And apparently there's six results um, found for me. Now, I have a very unique name. Always uniqueness wins on the Internet. All right? You can see there's only six. Uh, but if you're looking for John Smith or John Doe or something very, 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 very generic, um, I mean, now you're digging through a needle in a haystack. Okay? Uh, in this case, the only thing I can do on the, on the free side here is just start poking around and seeing what I can find. So, um, you know, different addresses, you can go into the details. Um, Parkville, which is actually where I live, you'd probably be able to see some of the different houses of the different draggers. This is the Dregger clan right here. Okay, there's Northway Drive and my father over here, I'm over here. All right, so you can even... Uh, looking for a very unique name, you can find and tie in three pieces of key information. And that's and I recommend everybody do this because you realistically should find out what's about you. So in, in being an advocate for public information, you know, the, in, the internet, have you ever looked on yourself about the internet? What do you find? You need to know how to evaluate that one for yourself. And then two, you know, actually apply that skill set to another company or individual organization, right? So between those two, next you can do, I want to show you one more here. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, Leo Drager and it's Yanzi. If you search for, or Yasni, if you search for this, then you, it starts aggregating other information as well, okay? So you can see Maryland, Bartle, Baltimore, Parkville, Nottingham, all addresses that I basically lived at. Um, the different stuff that, uh, uh, keywords that get referenced to me, um, some of them homes and real estate, some of them certifications, and some of them, you know, businesses. Okay, it also pretty much pegs some of the, uh, the pictures here 
uh, for myself, uh, you know, most I don't see anything that looks like you know John Smith here. Um, you here you could learn about you know my grandfather, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Other services again aggregate aggregate information down here. Okay. Um, also, it connects different social networks. This is nice because this is just opens up Pandora's box. Then you got Facebook of Leo Drager, MySpace, Twitter, Last.fm, uh, Sing, LinkedIn, uh, private home pages. Bad news. The bad news is I'm dead. <laughs> the, you know, you, the list goes on. My family heritage, property information, books, literature, uh, related documents, publications, audios, videos, plenty of advertisements as well. Notice those, okay? Um, so should you want to go apply this, this is a great way to start uh, an investigation on just about anything that you want. It's used in the White House, in, in, in the... Uh, white hat arenas, it's used in the gray hat arenas, and it's also used in the black hat arenas. So, you know, welcome to the internet in, in 2014, 2015, and way beyond. It's going to be here for a long time to, to come. So that's going to cover the basics on reviewing information online about any specific uh, target. Now, immediately when I show you those skills, you're going to immediately apply them inwardly to yourself. You shouldn't go out and personally evaluate other people, but know what's out there if somebody else is evaluating you. And that's the, the moral of the story here. So thank you for watching the lesson. This is Cybrary IT. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.